of the terminal or for Windows user, it's the command prompt on your um, on your ID. So it's pretty handy at times because you do not have to go back to your um, machine and launch your terminal just to run your Node.js application. So whenever you get this um, done, or whenever I mean whenever you get the installation completed, head over to your machine and just write Node. I mean your terminal. So it will prompt you to this Chevron I think which means it's actually running um, it's actually running successfully now if you want to get the um, if you want to get at the version number of node.js now let me show you something else the npm now npm is the uh, node node package manager that we have seen so this is the ecosystem you create a module for your um, you, cr you create a module by yourself and you use this npm to actually test your module and then there is a whole ecosystem uh, a whole community of node developers who have uploaded their uh, modules so if you have completed your own module then you, you can also upload your module on the node community which is known as the node ecosystem now let's get back to um, the version number if you're if you have got your node downloaded then obviously it's going to give you this message let me clear the screen just type in node dash um, I, I, I think this is called an hyphen node hyphen V which will actually give you the current version that's installed on your machine so I've got the version 4.1.0 so this is the version number but if you have got a problem if you did not install your node um, node inst if you did not in install it correctly then obviously this is not going to show up it's it's going to throw something else but if you get if you have got the installation correct if you have run through your installation process with without any problem then obviously you're going to get this message as I'm getting so let let us look into something else right now so no one has got this official website it's pretty handy I mean it's very handy and very helpful whenever you want to learn something uh, um, extensive uh, extensive about node.js if you want to learn about the add-ons, the C and C++ add-ons, how to develop them, uh, you should head over to this um, Node.js uh, Node.js official website. Now, how do we get help from this website? So, if you if you're not quite familiar with this, head over to this doc section. This one, click on docs. It will bring up something like this. It will. Uh, tell you everything about node the previous versions all the versions now we're not actually interested in what it is I mean what, what I mean what the versions are we're actually interested into the meat of this node.js now we are very interested in what this node.js can do for us so we head over to the API section if you head over to the API section you'll get something like this node.js.org slash API is the um, API part of Node. Now this API part will tell you every single detail about what Node does. It will also show you examples. Now let us look at one example from here. Click on, head over to this Node API and click on to the synopsis. Now the synopsis will tell you what this Node can do. It will actually give you one example. So let us get back to our browser and let us see how we can create our first virtual server. So before we can do that, let me create a project. Just a, um, maybe I should go for something like a folder. So let me create something like um, node practice. You can name it as, as anything as you want and uh, sorry um, I think I should better get something like a JavaScript you know a project a JavaScript project is better than um, okay let me 
get this node practice and let me set this location um, okay let me bring this up in a little bit in here okay so this is for this web and I guess we can use this part and finish so our project is actually pretty much empty right now it, it has only got one single you know uh, some default files that was given to us and there they are nothing as usual they're all empty now let us create a server now let us uh, you, you should click on right click on this project directory and what you should do is new from template and click on to JavaScript template and you will have this window popping up let me rename this as simple server so here we have the simple server page so we do not need those now because this is um, this is not quite uh, I mean you, you you will obviously need to have the uh, knowledge of the JavaScript programming language, but this is not really the way traditional JavaScript application were developed. So this has much of its resemblance if you're quite familiar with the PHP programming language, which is actually um, server side backend language. It is used to um, run it. It actually runs on the server. You won't get any output. I mean, you won't get to see what happens.